Use a utility knife to separate the cup from the icing. Take the chain off the key ring with scissors. Now cut off the yellow top. Baby LOL has come. Hang on a little. <laughs> Empty the space inside the squishy with scissors. When you reach the bottom, start using tweezers. We get a nice dress skirt. Shape a top from light clay. Shape the clay with scissors. We have a whole palette of squishy paints. Coat the damaged spots with pastel pink. Create a nice transition from pink to blue. Coat the bottom part of the squishy with blue paint. I hope you didn't throw away the icing top away. Paint the cap white. Sprinkle the dress of the baby with pink glitter. Let's go back to the cap. Apply a drop of hot glue to it and add a red bead. LOL, you're a cake! <laughs> Let's decorate your dress with a lot of teeny colorful beads. Apply white glue to the squishy dress and attach beads to it. Wow, you're shining so bright! You'll be the best looking at this ball. Just don't miss your carriage. The next one will only come tomorrow. This mermaid was heavily damaged by spilled nail polish. Thoroughly wipe the stains off the doll with acetone. Use a thin brush to paint eyes. Add details. Eyebrows, lips, and highlights. Apply a thin layer of white glue onto the eyelids and a part of the nose. And put on big pink glitter so it looks like magical fish scales. Let's transform her hairstyle by attaching colorful hair extensions under her own hair. Use a hot glue gun to attach seashells to a plastic bottle ring. Coat the seashells with acrylic paints of different blue shades. Fill the gaps between the seashells with beads. Coat the seashells with glue and coat the ends with red glitter. Our tiara turned out truly royal. Our ocean beauty needs glittery sleeves. Apply a thin layer of white glue onto the arms and tightly put on big glitter. Now this is the mermaid of our dreams. She's casually swimming in an ocean and makes the dwellers of all the ocean bottom happy with her beauty. Take a bottle cork, a straw, and a square piece of glitter paper. Cut the cork vertically with a utility knife. Put on a doll foot and mark the size of the wedge on the cork. Try it on again. Trace the width of the foot on the cork. Copy the curve. A perfect shoe sole is done. Trace the feet on glitter paper and cut out an insole. Wow! Attach the insoles to the soles. Cut a piece of straw to fit the sole. Hot glue the open straw to the shoes. Decorate the joints with rhinestones. Done! Now you have something to wear during a hot summer. Go wherever you want, to a beach or a park. It's gonna feel great. <laughs> Let's make Susie's outfit creative and unusual. Divide the hair with a part. Separate strands. Fasten a hair extension and braid it in. Copy on the other side. This new hairstyle is bomb. And decorate the body with nail stickers. Wow. Sue, you look completely different. Colored hair, tattoos, awesome. Sometimes it's a good idea to change the way you look. It's time to remove the mask. You look great. We'll still need the base. Use modeling clay to create the right shape. Smooth with a modeling tool. Wow, antlers, very interesting. 
It looks great in gold. Look at these precious stones. Make a mask out of them. It's so sparkly. Ladies and gentlemen, a battle of unique masks is coming to an end. The jury has decided that the winner is… Octavia Gold! We were impressed by your deer mask. Thank you. It's an honor for me. Your prizes. We would love to know how it was created. Octavia took a trip down the memory lane. Oh, I almost forgot. We just need to add diamonds. Here, a gold bar got a perfect shape. Each stone was made by hand. My best work. And now I'm here. It's an honor for me. Such attention to detail. Future generations should see this unique item. Will you allow us to display it at Lala Town Museum? It will be stored for centuries there. I'm grateful for you all. And we'll make a jellyfish out of a ruined LOL doll. Soak a cotton pad with acetone and remove all the old paint off the doll's body. We don't need it anymore. Pull the thread to make a fluffy skirt and tie it right under the doll's arms. Let's go through the box of fabric. And we find a narrow see-through glittery ribbon. Glue it under the skirt, making puffy waves. Also pick out different decorative strings of sequins, beads, and rhinestones. Cut the string into different pieces. Carefully glue each piece under the skirt using tweezers. We get magical tentacles. Shape a hat out of blue light clay on the head. Make identical sections using a modeling tool Use white glue to decorate the hat with colorful glitter. Add tentacles to the sides. What a miracle! Our old doll looks stunning now. Now she's a mysterious sea and ocean dweller. She casually swims so everyone can see how beautiful she is. This unicorn donut was more fortunate than the rest. It didn't get ruined after playing. It reminds me of something. Hey, LOL, the weather is amazing today. Do you want to swim? We have a nice swimming ring for you. Whoa, you're so brave and quick. Here's a milkshake for you. Wow. Today is definitely your day. This pink squishy bear didn't get lucky either. It's completely torn. Separate the head from the body. Define the ring on the muzzle with a fine liner. Start cutting out the center. Add a small cut at the front. Make another hole from the bottom part to the center. Get rid of the excess. Well, let's try this stress relieving hood onto our doll. Trace a doll on pink felt. Copy the drawing with a dotted line. Fasten the halves of the fabric with pins. Sew the outline along the marks. When it's done, we can turn it right side out. Add a cut. The doll is dressed. Tightly fasten the hat on the head with hot glue. Add a bow and a white foam paper circle on the belly. These bear pajamas look so good on the baby. And the important thing, it's calming. Mm. Too bad you ran out of candy so fast. But a wrapper will still come in handy. Here's an idea. Make a top from one sheet. Let's DIY a skirt. Join the parts into a luxurious dress. All the paparazzi were only looking at Barbie on the red carpet. 
What a nice pink dress. But there are no matching shoes. That's a problem. We need to do something about it. Look, there are so many colors. Which one would you like? <laughs> we know. <laughs> Take a piece of stretchy fabric and wrap it around the leg. Trace it, taking all the curves into account. Fold the fabric in half and cut it out. Hot glue the edges. Carefully turn the sock right side out. Bend the sole to be shaped like the foot and hot glue it on. Make a wedge from a few drops of glue. Shape soles at the bottom. Place the drying glue onto an even surface. Wrap the same fabric around the wedge and cut off the excess. Trace the wedge on thick foam paper. Cut it out and glue on the sole. Cover the joining with a thin white cord and decorate it. Done. The legs look even longer in these sock boots. I need to walk in them right now. Preferably to the car. Buy a car that matches your shoe color. Let's make a clear clutch bag. Cut a part off a contact lens package with a utility knife. Cut out glitter foam paper to fit it. Hot glue the pieces together. Add a chain and voila! Megan was thinking about changing her handbag, but this time a clutch bag looks the best. And you don't need to look for a mirror in it for long. What an elegant lady! <laughs> and the furniture is matching. So it means we need stiletto shoes. Trace the foot on cardboard. Make the tip flat. Cut out soles along the template. Cut the same pieces from foam paper. Hot glue a piece of silver wire that is as long as the sole between the cardboard and the foam paper. Bend it to fit the shape of the foot. Glue the end of thin silver ribbon to the bottom of the sole. Make a loop around and glue it. Cut off the excess. Attach another piece of ribbon to the heel. Now we'll need earring studs and two beads. Hot glue the beads and set up the heel underneath. Cut out a cork cube. Attach it to the front of the shoes. No, it's impossible to walk like that. Cut the cork to fit the sole. Remove the excess on the sides and make it shorter. Cut the ribbon in half lengthwise and cover the joining with it. Try it on. It fits like a glove. Put on the doll and tie. You feel like a queen in these heels. Wow! All eyes are on you. The truth is, it's comfier to lie in them than to walk. <laughs> and these sandals are definitely missing something. Take two pieces of glittery tulle. Fold. Shape like a leg. And sew. Rachel decided to make her friend happy wow. with a gift. Whoa, thanks! I can't wait to try it on! The socks fit very well. Let's move on to the next doll. Cut off the hair remains as short as possible. Wipe the face with a wet cotton pad. Hot glue feathers to the head to create a new hairstyle. Let's work on hair accessories. Thread different sizes of beads onto a piece of thin wire. We'll need three pieces of wire. Put the accessory onto the hair and bend it so it looks nice. <laughs> Trace the doll on a white foam sheet. Cut out a corset. Tightly wrap the doll in the corset and glue the edges. Hot glue a satin ribbon of feathers to the bottom of the corset. 
we get a fancy skirt. Decorate the corset with rhinestones. Fancy shoes complete the outfit. We get an incredible magical bird. It smiles mysteriously and flutters in the air. Barbie wants to have a photo shoot. Let's make a beach cape for her. Cut a silhouette from clear tulle and sew the sleeves and the sides. Add a cut at the front and try it on. Add a belt and it's done. Barbie have a nice vacation at an ocean. There's no such thing as too many handbags. Place twine on a metallic pendant. Fasten each spiral with hot glue. Join two pieces. We just have to add suede handles and a tassel keychain. A trendy handbag perfectly completes a beach outfit. Cut out a container from lens drops. Fill it with lotion using a syringe and put on the cap. Add a label and a handle. Now our Barbie won't get sunburnt for sure. She will have a nice tan. And of course, <laughs> take a cool selfie. For starters, let's take care of her unruly hair. Make a cat paw shaped accessory out of a foam paper and glue it to a hair tie. Barbie's nose is damaged. Paint a cat nose to hide it. Add details, whiskers and eye corners. You clearly figured out we decided to transform her into a cat. Time to create a cat outfit for her. Trace the outline of the doll on paper and pencil. Make a cutout of the costume. Sew the two halves. Put it on the doll. And where's the tail? For that, we will need a piece of wire and white fluffy fabric. Wrap the fabric around the wire and make a tube. Hot glue the tail to the costume. The tail can be any shape thanks to the wire. Cut two little triangles out of black foam paper and glue them around the perimeter. Hot glue the ears to a hair tie. Beautiful cat ears perfectly complete our adorable cat outfit. Our doll is tired, so she needs to take a nap. Let's make a sleep mask for her. Our cat is stretching and getting ready for her sweet dreams. A wardrobe of a stylish doll isn't complete without Converse sneakers. Trace the feet on cardboard and cut them out. Attach to thick foam paper and cut out again. We need four soles like this. Fold black leather in half and trace the foot. Cut out both layers and do it once again. Now cut out the front part of the shoe. We need two pieces of it. Done. All pieces are ready for assembling. Coat the back part of the shoe with hot glue around the edge and attach the sole. Add the thin foam paper piece. Warm it up with a lighter. This way, we'll get the toe cap of the shoe. Fasten it with glue. Cut an oval. Attach another layer of sole. Cut a foam paper strip to fit the height of the sole. Glue it on around the sole. Make holes for shoelaces with an awl and pass through a thin white cord. Cut out stickers and attach them to the sneakers. Whoa! Our versatile shoes are done! You can wear them to play football or walk. It's both for girls and boys. It looks great with jeans and skirts. Amazing! This doll doesn't feel like a buzz cut anymore. Coat the head with clear nail polish and sprinkle the sticky layer with glitter. Oh, this feels so unusual, wow. but I already like it. 
There's a new fashion icon in the world. Instagram, buckle up. <laughs> Let's make a table for ocean dwellers. Don't throw away the box. Take out a pizza saver. That'll be table legs. Clean an old face lotion cap. And cut out a plastic circle. There are so many ocean decorations. Real treasures. Take the most beautiful ones and put them inside. Add a few pearls and cover the table with a clear cap. Done. Even an ocean god loves drinking tea at this table. <laughs> Mermaid is about to join him. Let's complete it with a chair. We'll need a dry shampoo cap. Color a seashell and a cap with pearly acrylic paint. Decorate with more seashells on the sides. Add a rhinestone and glittery stones on top. Put a star-shaped cushion under the back. Attach a string of sequins and more decorations. Mermaid and Neptune love this new furniture. And the cookies are so yummy. <laughs> Let's turn metal caps and some modeling clay into a pie. Cover the bottom of a cap with modeling wax. Use red modeling clay to make small red balls. Make a hole with a toothpick. Put the balls into the mold. The pie filling is ready. Make a thin strip out of clay. Divide it into equal parts. And cover the pie. Make two layers. Use a braid to decorate pie crust edges. Ready. Berry pie is my favorite. Put it in the oven and bake for 40 minutes. Cover the pie with acrylic paint. Use dry pastel to add a tasty crust. Cover with clear nail polish. What a nice smell! Looks like the pie is ready. It's time to take it out. Oh, we made some crisp and delicious pies. I'll add some powdered sugar and put the pie on the table. Tea and sweet pie are perfect together. Take embroidery thread, a candle frame, and an eraser. Paint black on the inside. And cover the outside with red nail polish. Hot glue on a wooden handle. Now we have a toy frying pan. Twist some embroidery thread. Put them on the frying pan and we have some pasta. Pour in some red nail polish. Collect the crumbs and sprinkle them over the pasta. Wow. Look at this amazing pasta with tomato sauce and Parmesan. Mmm, I love Italian food. My pasta with tomato sauce is almost ready. Uh, but something's missing. Fresh basil, that's it. Now it's perfect. Barbie, what do I smell? Today we're having Italian food for dinner. Mmm, my favorite pasta, thanks. I'm sure our baby loves Italian food as much as his parents. Remove the wings with scissors. Paint the mane using a sandy shade. Coat the tail with the same color. Paint the hooves black. Bend wooden sticks and keep them this way till the shape becomes arched. Make connecting rods from smaller pieces. Hot glue the pieces to each other. Did you already guess what we want to make? Pony, we hope you're not very sad that you lost your horn. We have a better idea. Glue a crown instead of a horn. Attach a foam paper saddle instead of wings. Cut a strip of foam paper and fasten the stirrups. Is our doll ready to test the new toy? Sure! Look how much fun she's having! Put some hot glue on parchment paper. Dip the hardened glue drops in acrylic paint. Let it dry. Make a thin strip out of modeling clay. Chop it. Decorate the cookies. Cover with icing. Clean out a razor pack. Fill it with cookies. Cover with tape. Stick on a cookie label. I always crave cookies when I'm on a picnic. <laughs> Ken, thanks for bringing these for me. Make pizza dough out of light clay. Cover it with acrylic paint. Grate the clay. Add clay olives and basil. Cover with acrylic paint. 
put it inside a Domino's pizza box. Pizza delivery! Delicious! My baby was just craving pizza.